Hello, this is Robert Wellington continuing installation of Oracle 10G rack on a CentOS 4 using VMware. In the last session, um, we actually run the installer and we are in a stage where we need to run this scripts as root. Let's open another terminal window. Login as root. It is our consumption. Random tree. Crucial to run one script at a time, like a rack one and rack two, in that order. And otherwise, you could run into trouble. Um, so, the first one is okay. CRS Oracle Product in CRS You get some warnings in that. It's I think it's perfectly okay. If you Oracle base web documentation shows exactly the same warnings. I was going to say something, I forgot. Oh yeah. Um, the installation of Oracle is sort of much easier than it used to be, but still like the, the next Unix part of it you need to be pretty careful and you have to have a good understanding of what you're doing to be able to get it um, up and running. Um, and once you get to actually installation of Oracle, it's pretty straightforward because Oracle has taken care of um, lots of things. Um, it's much easier now, especially when you go to 11G, you see, or 11G release 2 is even easier than uh, 10G. But it's been quite a smooth um, installation, majority of time. Very few times you get issues, but you know, system to system, you could have some some problems, but in my experience, it's been quite uh, uh, nice. Once you get to the Oracle part, seems everything rolls. But sometimes you get a bug. You know, depends on how quickly you're jumping on a particular distro. Um, Six hundred second uh, should go through. Quickly. Mm -hmm. So once we install the um, cluster there, and then we'll start installing ASM and database, the rest of the install should be pretty straightforward. Um, Let's go to second mode and run go through the same process over there. Let's have a look at documentation as well. Um, so it gives us the warnings. 
and then root. It seems um, we're gonna have some issue with, uh, you know, uh, our whip was an issue before and it was flagged up. So here we need to go and run this to configure our virtual IP. Um, once it comes back, actually, let's. Yeah, once it comes back, it's possibly we'll, I'm sure we'll see the same error in here as well. But that's the workaround. Like, um, if you run into any issues, these sort of these are going to be the issues, and you would be able to, you know, either work it out yourself or just go to Metalink and open a, a tar and find that from Oracle support exactly what you need to do. Or you could even find it on the web, the solution for it. But, but the trick is to be able to understand that you have an issue. I think once we once we go through this, <clears throat> do some checks, time allowing us. So actually, it was trying to run BPCA, but it's running to trouble. Let's go back to one and run it from there. Exactly, just need a little bit of helping hand. That's really good. I'm going to hit my 10 minutes. Um, I will stop here and come back straight away to continue with this. This is Robert Mulliken installing Oracle Rack 10G. Release 2 on CentOS 4 using VMware. See you on the next session to finish this.